What's going on, everybody? This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to the first episode of Scrap Mechanic Basics, Blocks and Lift 101. When you press Tab, you have a backpack and your tools show up, and you have access to your hotbar. In the backpack, you have the basic blocks, and then you have other items which you can place. Now, this episode, we'll go over these first six blocks. First block you have is concrete, which is considered heavy. Second block you have is wood, which is considered light. Third block you have is metal, which is considered heavy. Fourth block you have is barrier, which is considered light. Fifth block you have is tile, which is considered medium. And finally, finishing out the blocks, you have brick, which is also considered medium. In future lessons, you'll see how the weight affects different physics in the game. We'll choose a concrete block first. As you can see, there's arrows pointing in two directions, well, four directions, but across two planes. So when you hold, le press left click, it'll place it down. When you hold it, you can drag it, and you can drag it out. I believe it's 16 by 16 at the max, but you can always connect to it too if you need to, in any sort of way or manner. Also, if you don't like what you place, you can tap right click, it'll remove it, or if you hold right click and drag it, it will remove it. Again, it has a max size you can pull. Also, if you pull something and you don't want to get rid of it, as long as you pull away, it won't get rid of it. Now to the lift. This is a basic tool you will use a lot of the time. You can press up on your keyboard to lift it up, and there's a max height. Return it back down by pressing down. You can build on this lift with any materials. You can build above and below your piece by using the up and down function on the lift. With your mouse cursor over the lift, you can hold your right mouse button to remove it. You can also place your lift at a different spot to move it from its current place. To pick up the piece you dropped with your lift, place your mouse cursor over the item, make sure your lift is selected, and left click. Then just move your mouse cursor to the position that you would like to place your lift with the item on it at. This is especially helpful when you want to move something large that is not mobile. All you have to do is left click once and continue to walk with the lift still selected. You will see it highlighted in white and will be able to place it. It will disappear if you left click, either if it's red or white. The red will mean that the piece is still back where you originally clicked on. You cannot use a lift to pick up something that was built on the ground. It can only be done on something that has been built on a lift prior. You can easily tell if you're able to put something on the lift because it will appear beneath it and highlight in white. You can also put blocks or items on a lift that have been removed from a building. For those of you that have never played the game before, hopefully this has given you some insight on the beginnings of it. Uh, if you'd like to see some more on Scrap Mechanic outside of the tutorials, feel free to check out the gameplay videos I've got up. And also, I've got a couple other series going on. I really appreciate you guys taking time to watch this. Hopefully there's something here that you like. Don't forget to subscribe because I'll be putting more of these up. And you guys have a good night.